In this tutorial, we will describe the portfolio replication approach to price and option. Let's say we have a stock that's currently trading at S0. Over some time period T, the stock price could go up to SU or it could go down to SD. Let's say there's an option on the stock with strike price equal to K and time to maturity of this option equals T. And let's say that continuously compounded discount rate over this period is R percent. Please note that the methodology described here applies equally well whether the rates are continuously compounded or discreetly compounded. So at time t, we have two possible states, the up state when the stock price could go up to SU or down state when the stock price goes down to SD. In up state, let the payoff of the option be equal to PU. And similarly, in down state, let the payoff of this option be equal to PD. Now we have to set up a portfolio using stock and bond such that it exactly replicates the payoff of the option. If we are able to do that, then under no arbitrage, price of this portfolio must be same as the price of the option. So the portfolio setup is as follows. We have to take a position in delta shares S and we have to take a position in risk-free bond B. So our portfolio comprises of delta shares and a position in risk-free bond. Since this portfolio must replicate the payoff of the option, whether the stock price goes up or down, our pricing rule is as follows. If the terminal value of the stock price, ST, equals SU, in other words, if upstate occurs, then the value of the stock position, which is delta times SU, plus the value of the bond position at that time, which is B compounded at the risk-free rate over the time period T, must equal the payoff of the option in upstate. Similarly, if downstate occurs and the terminal value of the stock price equals SD, then the value of the stock position, which is delta times SD, plus the value of the bond position at that time must equal the payoff of the option in downstate. Let's call the equation that corresponds to upstate equation 1 and let's call the equation that corresponds to downstate equation 2. Question is what should be the value of delta and bond position? Our pricing rule gives us two equations and two unknown variables delta and B the current value of the bond position. Since we have two securities and two possible scenarios, we can easily solve for delta as well as the value of the bond position. Let's solve these simultaneous equations to get the values of delta and B. So subtracting equation 2 from equation 1, we get delta times the stock price in the upstate minus delta times the stock price in the downstate. And this equals the payoff of the option in upstate minus the payoff of the option in downstate. Solving for delta, we get delta equals the payoff of the option in upstate minus the payoff of the option in downstate. All this divided by the stock price in upstate minus the stock price in downstate. So we have solved for delta and we can see that delta essentially measures the change in payoff of the option due to change in the values of the underlying. We can use this value of delta 
and plug it back into either one of the two equations we have in our pricing rule to solve for the value of bond position. So let's take equation 1. Our equation 1 is as follows. Delta times the stock price in upstate plus the value of the bond position at time t to equal the payoff of the option in upstate. If we plug in the value of the delta that we just solved for, we get the payoff of the option in upstate minus the payoff of the option in downstate. All this divided by the stock price in upstate minus the stock price in downstate. This is the value of delta times the stock price in upstate plus the value of the bond position at time t equals the payoff of the option in upstate. Solving for b here, we get b equal to the payoff of the option in upstate minus the stock price in upstate times the value of delta that we just solved for. discounted at the risk-free rate over time period t. So now we know the optimal stock position and present value of the bond position. Since these positions exactly replicate the payoff of the option under no arbitrage, the present value of this stock and bond position must equal the price of the option. Therefore, let p denote the price of the option. So P equals the current stock position times delta plus the current value of the bond position. This is the price of the option. So we have learned how to price an option using portfolio replication approach in discrete time framework. If there are any questions or comments, please feel free to post. Thank you.